Hello everyone and welcome to another 5 Minute Friday as you can probably tell by my outfit. In today's video we're going to be talking about space, specifically Apollo 11 otherwise known as the mission that brought the first men to walk the moon. Now Apollo 11 returned to Earth from its historic journey on this day, July 24th, 51 years ago, so I figured it's the perfect day for us to talk about it, so let's get right into it. Apollo 11 launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on July 16, 1969 with three very important people on board. Of course, Neil Armstrong, the mission commander, Buzz Aldrin, the lunar module pilot, and Michael Collins, the command pilot. They blast off from Florida and four days later, the crew's getting ready to drop the kids off at the moon. Okay, so the plan is for the ship to split into two. The command module, otherwise known as Columbia, is to remain in orbit, being manned by Michael Collins. And the Eagle, which is to descend to the surface of the moon with Buzz and Neil, with Buzz piloting the lunar module landing. Although the landing was a bit frightening, with the Eagle overshooting its landing site by four miles and landing with only 30 seconds of fuel left to spare, they made it. They set up their TV satellite, and it's estimated that over 650 million people tuned in to watch the historic moment of a man stepping foot on the moon. A few hours after they touched down on the surface of the moon, the moment of truth happens. At 10.56 p.m. Eastern Time, Neil Armstrong places his left boot on the moon and utters his famous words, after their landing, they exit the Eagle and go about doing all the tasks that NASA has assigned for them, like collecting rocks, taking pictures, and placing the American flag on the moon. And if you're wondering if that flag is still there, Buzz said it blew away when they took off to take back to Earth, so it's a bummer. In total, Armstrong and Aldrin spent just over 21 hours on the surface of the moon before they got back in the Eagle and ascended back to dock with the Columbia, but did you know they almost never got off the moon? That's right. After they get back from all their moon exploration, they come back to the Eagle and they find something on the ground. It's a switch, not a Nintendo switch, a switch to the circuit breaker that's gonna power their ascent back to the Columbia. It broke off. Mission control couldn't help them. They were on their own. So Buzz had an idea. Since the issue was electrical, he didn't want to touch it or use anything metal to try to fix it. So he had a felt tip pen in his suit pocket that he took out, stuck the pen tip in the tiny little hole where the switch should have been for the circuit breaker, and it worked. They were able to get off the moon thanks to a little felt tip pen. Science. The crew headed back to Earth, and on this day, July 24th, 1969, their ship splashed safely into the Pacific Ocean. If you're wondering how a spaceship lands in the ocean and how the astronauts are brought back to safety, I will leave a link in the description box of footage of Apollo 11's return to Earth because it is pretty amazing. In a nutshell, the spaceship splashes into the ocean, and U.S. Navy divers are dropped via helicopter into the water to anchor the ship to the ocean floor and place a flotation device around it. Then the astronauts have to change into decontamination gear just in case they brought back any moon germs with them to Earth. Once they change into their decontamination gear, they can exit the spaceship and are sprayed down by a chemical solution to wash them of any possible bacteria, and the spaceship is then sprayed down as well. The astronauts are then pulled up one by one by the helicopter that drops down a little basket for each one of them, and once they disembark the helicopter, they're forced to go to a mobile quarantine trailer where they need to remain for three weeks. It must be nice to only be in quarantine for three weeks. Here is a picture of President Nixon greeting them for the first time since their return to Earth, as well as them seeing their wives for the first time as well. During their time in quarantine, they spent time doing daily debriefings, writing reports, and even had a surprise party for Neil, who celebrated his 39th birthday in quarantine, just like all of us this year. On August 12th, they are released from quarantine out into the world for endless celebration, just like I hope we all are soon as well. That is it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!